Hello friends, this is me Lenny Hachansu. Welcome to my channel which is all about enhancing what you have. Today we are reviewing Misha M Magic Cushion Cover. Now it has new packaging but I bought it quite some time ago. So I have the old one. I bought it in shade 23 which is the darkest shade. It has beautiful white and golden packaging that feels very luxurious. It claims to give perfect coverage, flawless look, hides imperfections and dull skin tone with SPF 50 PA++++. Silica bead powder helps control sweats and sebum for hours long perfection. Bamboo water and baobab fruit extract helps maintain moisture on skin. Isn't the cushion's packaging amazing? It opens up with a button. It has a mirror and sponge like other cushions. Its sponge is quite soft and bouncy like a beauty blender. It does have that chemically cushion foundation smell which I don't mind. The foundation is quite yellow which I like but compared to my complexion it is light. In fact it's quite light. It feels velvety to touch by the way. Let's see how does this sponge works on bare skin. It's very light for my skin. It's blending nicely between the creases. Seventy percent of my hand has foundation and thirty percent doesn't. Can you tell the difference? The back side of sponge got stained by foundation. So that's my bare skin. I have already done my skincare and now I will apply the cushion. My face has a redness all around my cheek and nose area. My face is quite light than my neck as well and it has always been like that due to obesity. I have applied Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum and now I will apply the Misha M Magic Cushion on my face. I'm dabbing the cushion foundation all over my face first. Now I'm blending it. It is blending into my skin nicely and quite fast as well. It is one of the reasons I love cushion foundations. It has beautiful dewy finish that gives skin a radiance. I'm not doing my neck today, so you can see how light it is. After one layer, it looks exactly like the color of my face. It hasn't covered my blemishes or dark circles completely but has given my skin a healthy glow. It hasn't covered my redness completely too. Now I will be doing a second layer on my face. I will now apply the foundation where I need more coverage and then I will apply it on sides of my cheeks then I will blend it inwards and whatever is left on sponge is what I will then use to blend the entire face. Now 
My skin feels like a high quality velvet, isn't it? It hasn't covered my dark circles completely. From what I can see is that it is a light coverage foundation. It doesn't become skeaky with multi layers at all. My skin looks radiant, dewy and beautiful after second layer. Now, I will apply loose powder on half of my face. I literally forgot that Koti Airspun has kicked back to lights and flashlights. Unfortunately, you will see me as a ghost under the ring light. The powder side looks quite beautiful. It looks like the glow is coming from within the skin. Now I will apply the powder on rest of my face and will be back. That's how my face looks with full face of powder. This foundation is definitely a little lighter than my complexion but it looks so beautiful and light as feather on my face. That's how it looked in pictures and real life under normal lights. Let's do a transfer test. It transfers a little. Let's try it on phone. It does transfers a little on phone as well. That's how my face looks after 3 hours of application. It hasn't collected on any creases or lines. The finish is dewy still and looks fresh. It doesn't oxidize as much at all. For the price and performance, it's 10 on 10. The only thing that I didn't like is that my face is a little sticky. Maybe because it has dewy finish. Other than that, it was fine. I will rate it 4 by 5 and will definitely buy its new version if I find darker shades. All the shots now are after 3 to 4 hours of application. By the way, I did the eye makeup for Red Velvet's Psycho-inspired makeup video. Do watch it, link is in description box below.